Well, this is something a little different, isn't it? Hey there guys, my name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and we're kind of back with another episode of Hatsune Miku Project Mori DX. But at the same time, we're also, well, we're gonna check out the very first game in the Mori series, Project Mori 1. Uh, last time, we actually took care of the bonus stuff, including some updates for the 3DS version. Uh, digitally of Mirai DX. Well, aka the only version. I don't even know what to talk about. So this time, for the very first time, I actually wanted to show off the original Mirai because there's actually something I didn't think, or some things that I didn't even know. For example, does the mic thing work? Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. What's the white button? Hello? Okay, so I have the mic attached. Um, let me see. Time. Does this not do anything? Wow, that I'm not actually sure about. There's music you can do here. The, the touch wheel is actually really different. Holy crap. What do all these do? That's interesting. Then what's this? Uh, we could do AR mode. What's this about? Yeah, this is also me explain. Oh, this is the customization. Whoa! Also, I apologize if, getting, uh, if there's any lag. I am playing the emulated version, but just know I do have a legit copy of the game. Just in case anyone's all like, oh, you can't do it. I do have a legit copy. Ooh, this is interesting. Interesting. I'll show the the gameplay later, but I'm just curious about everything else here. Oh. Well, I don't know what that did. That's my score. Whoa! The score thing looks insane. What the heck? Oh, this is settings. This is like Smash 64, what the heck? I don't know what that does. Uh, background music. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, and then there's AR, which I can't really do. There's also the PV. Is there any ways I can integrate the Vocaloid, or is that like not a possibility? I can rotate this the same as before. All right. And then there's music, which I guess is like you could play all different sorts of music if, as you unlock it. I believe so. Then I don't know what this is. Uh, an alarm thing? And then here's your uh, messages. Interesting. So there's like no interactivity. I think that was later in Mario 2 from the looks of it. Very interesting. Okay. Well, let's go to the, uh, the music mode. Which I noticed it actually starts on, um... Ah, shoot, what is the name of this? Uh, put on screen since I don't actually remember Future Me. Yeah, I don't actually remember. So, the big difference between Mirai DX and the first Mirai game, obviously from the screen, is the music selection. Which actually starts with um, this song. And then we also have Piano Girl on here. I might do that one for... No copyright purposes. Although, wait, does that have a different PV? I think I actually remember that having a different PV because I mentioned that. Is there also no hard difficulty, or do I have to unlock that? So it's just those two. Okay. Um, this is kind of weird sound, actually. Yeah, I think this is actually a completely different video. Um, well, stupid as sound is gonna do what I'm assuming is normal. We're just gonna take a look at the difference. Why is it say level one at the bottom? Yeah, this is also just a PV. We actually discussed this in a previous episode, so this is interesting. Also, different sound effects. Oh, gosh. So, I want to give you guys a heads up about this gameplay. This is not only me trying this out for the very first time, but I also mixed up the buttons before recording. Normally when I do a PS4 or PS5 game, I normally have the Y button set as square and X a triangle, but for some reason I forgot to mix those up. But I will show you this because this is actually really, really interesting how it turns out. That has me exactly in the middle. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, well, maybe I should start off on easy. That's so weak. That's just totally different than what I imagined. I was thinking, like, the error would... That's interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna pick a different song. Actually, we're gonna do this on easy, actually. No, we're gonna do the same song, but uh, it has to be easy. 
Okay, that's way different than I thought it was going to be. Interesting. I'm also going to warn you guys, I don't know whether it's through the whole thing or at some point. The audio is going to start lagging a bit, but I am playing on an emulator since I know there's ways you can hack your 3DS to make it region free. But with the 2DS capture thing, I don't want to risk breaking my 2DS. This is interesting! So you have to literally follow this like in a circle. Like the arrow indicates how you're supposed to do it. Okay, now that I actually played the two, I feel like Mario DX actually did this a lot better. Because the arrow at first is so confusing. But it's interesting in doing this now. So it has to be at the exact right time. Oh, how do I get back to four? Oh, I was not paying attention. Somehow I'm getting this with an emulator, by the way. <laughs> yeah, this is insanely weird. Like, I don't know how I really feel about the whole circle thing. Now that I'm actually experiencing it. Because there's a big difference between explaining it and then actually doing it for yourself. It's, it's weird, for sure. Like, I have to get used to it a lot. Yeah, this, ultimately, this is really super weird, in my opinion. Oh, wait, I, I should get back to this. It's very specific. I apologize for not talking all that much. I don't want to have to focus. But number two, I am just so, so biz bizarrely confused as to the system. It's entirely new. Okay, so... Again, it's such a different balance. Ooh, okay, I like the ranking system, though. <laughs> That's a D. <laughs> Oh, look at how he misses that guy. That was uneasy. So, the biggest gripe I have with the Murmari mechanic system is it has to be very specific, and it's hard to tell where it is you need to be specific on, which is not like the Murai one, where the circle is just falling on the path and the buttons just come at you, so it's a little bit easier. In that aspect, 
I'm glad that they actually didn't continue this arrow approach or the circle going around the button thing and instead do that approach because not only is it a lot easier to see the buttons but it actually is very accurate when it comes to pushing it because I felt like it sometimes I was like on it but it didn't count it for some reason and I was just barely off and it felt like it counted it if that makes sense it's weird it's really really weird <laughs> I don't know if I'm a fan of that but I'm honestly glad they changed it, and I'm actually super glad I decided, hey, let's experience that. Uh, since I actually do have, um, Murray, uh, Mar I almost said Murray too, but that, but, uh, but also a regular Murray as well. I'm pretty sure that has to be hard difficulty as well, but, uh, if you play the original one and, uh, you have hard, let me know if there's, actually I can look that up right now. And then just cut away to that, because I think that'd be a little bit easier to do so. Yeah, I'm not seeing that much about the first Mirai game. So I'm assuming then that there's no hard difficulty. And like normal's the like the big one. Then again, I think I might have just done like one of the easier ones. Yeah, that's three still. Hmm. So I'm guessing there's like a total of eight difficulties. So maybe there is a hard at some point. And I have not unlocked it yet. I can't imagine doing this on hard. What is that like on hard? Am I willing to test it out? Probably not. Maybe like do some YouTube vid or look up some YouTube videos to find it out. But yeah, overall that is very interesting. And I can't do the AR. Wait, what? Attention info. What? What is that all about? Hold on. Oh, I did not want to take a photo there. I'm wondering if like they can interact at all. Oh, okay. Some uh, some more information about this. So, uh, I locked a PD for Piano Girl, and then I locked. Uh, okay, so that's what it was telling me about. That's insanely interesting. And I don't know if there's any options to like um, change the room or anything like that. I don't think there is. Uh, I'm gonna test something out here. Wait, that's not the right button. Uh, let me try something here. Konnichiwa. Wait, what happened? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so I just did Konnichiwa, and it just... <laughs> so because I actually have it emulated, I can't really do that, but I'm assuming that's like a... something completely different. I have no clue, but um... Yeah, that's... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's... That's cute owl animation. She's like, man, wait, what are you gonna... I, I want to do something together, then she goes back to normal. Wait, did that little music thing mean that I unlocked a Piano Girl? As a song? It did, okay. Huh, that's interesting. Well, anyways, I think that's going to do it for this bonus episode, and I think for bonus episodes of Mario DX all together. I, again, I just wanted to explore this game just out of curiosity, and I'm glad I did. It makes me appreciate Mariah Dex even more, and once again, I'm glad that we have the um, note structure that we did in Mariah Dex, because man, I would not be able to do as well <laughs> with, with the whole circle, arrow, precisely accurate button mechanics. Yeah, I still don't know how to feel about that. I, I really don't. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, thank you all for watching these two bonus episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in a future project or in a future video. So, until we meet again, do remember to take care, and do remember that the mechanics here have changed for the better.